module 14 lithography color reverse process lithography technique in printmaking technique was developed in germany by playwright alois sinifelder alois sinifelder 1771 to 1834 using limestone as a vehicle to transfer an image onto paper it was initially used as a commercial printing process especially for the duplication of scripts and illustrations in books. Artists realized that this medium was also an excellent way to create multiple images. Artist Delacroix, Artist Delacroix and Goya among many others mastered the technique. Later, printers such as Picasso Miro and Chagall embraced lithography to create fine art. Today, hand-printed lithography are created by artists in many parts of the world and are held in high regard as original works of art. The word lithography comes from Greek meaning to write or draw on stone. Lithography is a planographic medium in which the image and non-image are on the same surface not physically separated, that is, the same plane, with other printmaking techniques such as intaglio, etching, mezzotint, engraving, the image is either engraved or acid etched into a plate. In relief, in relief wood block, lino cut, the non-image, unprinted, area is cut away. In lithography, the separation of the image and non-image areas is achieved primarily through the principle that oil repels water. Oil repels water together with a chemical reaction resulting when a solution called an etchant is applied on the stone. Grind evenly until the old artist's drawing is erased. Polish the stone with slate. Take two containers with about half a left half a liter of water in each vessel. Most lethal stones used throughout the world come from a quarry north of Munich. Quarry north of Munich, known for limestone, limestone of superior quality. A new lethal stone is about 10 cm thick and can be used for, used for many years. After each use, the stone must be grained on ground with a stainless steel disc called a levigator and a mixture of water and abrasive grit, cargo and dump. Subsequent grindings with finer grit leave the stone smooth and flat in preparation for the next image to be drawn or printed on the stone. In a routine graining, only about 1 mm is removed from the top surface of the stone. If the stone is uneven to being with or the graining solution is allowed to dry out, severe scratching of the stone can occur. Should this happen, the process must be started over again using a coarse grit to remove the scratches. The image to be created may be from a photograph, a sketch or a picture in the artist's mind. Before the artist begins to paint or draw on the stone, a line drawing or outline of the image, incomplete, incomplete and lacking detail, is usually first drawn on a piece of tracing paper or a sheet of clear acetate. Some artists prefer to create, direct, create directly on the stone. Mirror image of the actual drawing is to be made on the stone, so the drawing has to be on a transparent material. 
9530 and a few drops of acetic acid in one container only the finished line drawing is placed face down onto the stone a sheet of paper smeared with iron oxide powder is placed between the tracing paper and the stone powdered side down to act much like carbon paper Using a ballpoint pen or similar pointed instrument, the artist traces out the line drawing. The iron oxide leaves a red outline of the line drawing on the stone, which serves as a guide to fill in the drawing. This red line is drawn upon by the artist, adding adequate details to create the image. The freshly ground stone is highly sensitive to grease. Anything with grease content may be used to create the image. be it liquid or a special litho pencil similar to a grease pencil even the oils from one's skin may leave an impression so care must be taken not to allow the skin to come in contact with the stone while drawing due to the softness of the litho pencil to achieve fine lines and tones it is necessary to file the point repeatedly sand paper is ideal time 1730 Wash the stone, alternating with both the solutions. The process is termed as stone-sensitive process. After the stone-sensitive process, dry the stone carefully. Requires multiple colors. It is essential to also trace registration marks, which allow each subsequent drawing. Each color requires a separate drawing on the stone, and to be perfectly aligned with the previous drawing and printing. Where the registration marks appear, scratches are made into the stone, making it possible to visibly align the paper when printing. The time required to create the image depends on the complexity of the image. A black and white lithograph could be completed in one run and it would represent about 40 hours of drawing line drawing time. A lithograph with multiple colors would take more drawing time as each color printed requires a separate drawing. Once the image is completed it must be fixed on the stone. Oil and water do not mix and the sensitivity of the lim- sensitivity of the limestone to grease and the application of an etchant to the stone all combine to create the magic of lithograph since the image and non image areas are on the same plane of same plane or surface unlike in other print making media the image is separated on the stone in a chemical process using an etchant an etchant is a solution of gum arabic and nitric acid the grease acid ba- the grease based image is resistant to the water soluble etchant solution 
Therefore, only the non-image area of the stone accepts the solution and a chemical reaction occurs. Time 10. Leave a space of 2 inches from all edges on all sides and mark the border of the stone. Begin drawing inside the demarcated areas with the help of help of glass marking pencil or litho writing ink etc. Before the agent is applied, frozen powder is sprinkled over the image and wiped off. A coating of talcum powder follows is also wiped off. This is done to stabilize the rather delicate nature of the drawing material. Using a piece of tissue paper, the image area is then buffed vigorously in the preparation of the application of the liquid edge. The edge solution is applied with a brush, coating the entire top surface of the stone. The image area is impervious to this application, oil and water, while the limestone is re receptive to the solution. The edge is left on the stone for about 5 minutes and then removed with cheesecloth by buffing the surface of the stone vigorously and smoothly, leaving a thin, dry layer of gum. Then the drawing material is removed carefully by pouring oil-based solvent over the surface of the stone and rubbing with a clean rag cloth until the entire image is washed out. A thin layer of litho ink, oil-based, is then wiped across the image area with a clean rag. With a clean rag. Next, using a sponge and water, the layer of water-soluble gum edge is removed. The chemical process resulting from the application of the edge permits the image area to receive the oil-based ink and to repel water. In reverse, the Im in reverse, the non-image area accepts water and repels the ink. Accepts water and repels the ink. Repel repels the ink. A leather roller is charged, rolled on the ink set, on the ink slab, then rolled over the surface of the stone. This rolling of ink onto the stone is repeated several times, and the stone must be sponged with water between each rolling. Once the image is fully inked, the stone is allowed to dry. Another application of rosin, talcum, and edge solutions follow. Time 1330. Once this drawing is completed, apply rosin powder and French chalk colored powder on the stone. It is necessary to repeat this process several times in order to make the image as stable as possible before proceeding to the printing stage. Think of it as creating a strong memory of the image on the stone. It takes about one hour to apply each edge from the time of washing out the image to rolling the ink and the application and drying of the edge. The last edge remains on the stone until printing. Processing the stone is critical. A successful printing demands proper care and expertise at this stage, and any errors could destroy the image. 
it would then be necessary to begin again at square one, graining and, re and recreating the image. A lithograph is printed by pressing a piece of paper onto the stone, which has been rolled with ink, transferring the ink from the stone onto the paper. An addition of approximately 50 prints requires a printing session of 8 to 10 hours for each color. Without allowing for technical, without allowing for technical difficulties, Picasso created lithographs on zinc plates as they were lighter and did not require him to work at the lithographs studio. It was in 1945 that Picasso took up residence at the Mourault. Morlot Studio in Paris enjoying the medium where he could rework an image on the same printing surface and preserve the complete evolution of the composition. Picasso later created his lithographic images on a paper which was then transferred on to the stone, which was then transferred to the stone in reverse from the original drawing. Then when a paper then when printed then, when printed, the print would be a reverse of the inked surface, therefore consistent with the orientation of the original drawing. The leading Spanish artist of the period, Francisco de Goya, made his last series of prints, the Bulls of Bordeaux, 1828, as lithographs. The two leading French Romantic artists, Eugen de la Criox and Theodore Gary Colt both appreciated the dramatic effects of shading that the process provided and produced works in this in works in the medium, as did Hon as did on Honore Daumier, Honore Daumier a generation later. This chemical method was a full-fledged discovery as the inked and the uninked areas remain on the side on the same surface as opposed to integral and relief printing. All that had to be done was to make the stone surface react differently to water and to greasy substance. Time 1730. After half an hour, after half an hour apply gum arabic liquid on it and leave the stone untouched for 24 hours.
When multicolored leaves are made, a separate drawing must be done for each color printed. The printing of one color is referred to as a run. The stone is reground and the entire process is repeated for the next run, transferring the line drawing, drawing the image, processing and then reprinting the same paper with the next color. Once the printing is completed and the paper is dry, the addition is carefully inspected for continuity of color and registration. In a multi-run addition, it is usually wise to print several extra sheets of paper to allow for rejects based on color and or registration distortions. Traditionally, traditionally the prints are then numbered, titled and signed in pencil. The number on a print does not necessarily represent the order in which the paper was printed. Rarely would an artist run an addition for addition of more than 150 lithographs. An average would be 50 to 100, though some artists prefer to work more experimentally and may pull only a small number, 5 to 10. The time, it, the time it takes to complete an addition may vary from days to several weeks or months, depending on the complexity of the image and how many runs it takes to complete. Time 1930. Apply wash out solution on the stone and remove any black markings or remaining markings or remains of the drawing. Example artist. Jasper Jones. Artist and printmaker Jasper Jones was born on 15th May 1930 at Augusta, Georgia. He spent his early days in South Carolina. Jones studies a total of three semesters at the University of South Carolina from 1947 to 1948. Then he then moved to New York City and studied briefly at the Parsons School of Design in 1949. In 1952 and 1953, he was stationed in Sendai, Japan during the Korean War. Working together with Robert Rosenberg, he explored the contemporary art scene and began developing ideas on art. In 1958, gallery owner Leo Castelli discovered Johns while visiting Rosenberg's studio. Castelli gave him his first solo show. It was here that Alfred Barr, the founding director of New York's Museum of Modern Art, purchased four works from this show. In 1963, Johns and Cage founded Foundation for Contemporary Performance Arts, now known as Foundation for Contemporary Arts in the New York City. Time 2130. Now carefully apply clean water to the stone with the help of lethal sponge. Johns is best known for his painting, for his painting flag, 1954 to 55, which he painted after having a dream of the American flag. His work is often described as neo dadist as opposite, as opposed to pop art. Even though his subject matter often includes images and objects from popular culture, still many complications on pop art include Jasper Johns as a pop artist because of his artistic use of classic iconography. Johns played with and presented opposites, contradictions, paradoxes, and ironies, much like Michael. The champ who was associated with the Dada, Mo Dada movement. Johns also produced intaglio prints, sculptures, and lithographs with similar motifs. The paintings of ab abstract expressionist figures like Jackson Pollock and William T. Kooning are indexial in that they stand effectively as a signature on canvas. In contrast, Neo Dadaist John. New dadists like Johns and Rosenberg seemed preoccupied with the lessening of the reliance of their art on indexual qualities, seeking instead to create meaning solely through the use of conven conventional symbols. Some have interpreted this as a rejection of the hallowed individualism of the abstract expressionist. Their works also imply symbols existing outside of any referential context. John's flag, for instance, is primarily a visual object, divorced from its symbolic con 
connotations and reduced to something in itself. Time 2330. Now carefully apply color ink with the help of a roller. Note that the first print will be lighter. Since 1960, Johns has worked closely with Universal Limited Art Editions, Inc. (ULAE) in a variety of printmaking techniques to investigate and develop existing compositions. Initially, lithography suited Johns and enabled him to create print versions of iconic depictions of flags, maps, and targets that filled his paintings. In 1971, Johns became the first artist at ULAE. to use the hand fed offset lithographic press resulting in decor an image realized in print making before it before it was made in drawing or painting however apart from the lead reliefs of 16 of 1969 he has concentrated his efforts on lithography at gemini gel in 1976 john's partner John's partner partner John's partnered with writer Samuel Beckett to create Poirot's Physics. The book includes 33 essays which revisit an earlier work by John and five text fragments by Beckett. He has also worked with Atelier Promilinic in Paris in association with Petersburg Press of London and New York. And Simca print artist in New York. In 2000, John produced John's produced a limited edition Lino cut for the Grin for the Grenfell Press. Time 25:30. Now mark the final registration of the color print on paper and litho stone. In 1973, John's produced a print called Cup to Picasso for XXE's Siegel. a french publication for the may 2004 issue of art in america he created a black and white lithograph depicting many of his signature motifs including numbers a map of the united states united states and sign language in 1998 the metropolitan museum of art in new york bought john's white flag while the museum would not disclose how much was paid The New York Times reported that experts estimate the painting's value at more than $20 million. The National Gallery of Art acquired about 1,700 of John's proofs in 2007. This made the gallery home to the largest number of John's works held by a single institution. John's work ha- John's works held by a single institution. The exhibition showed works from many points in john's career including recent proofs of his prints the greenwild country museum of art in greenwild south carolina has several of his several of his pieces in their permanent collection renowned from his masterful paintings Jasper Johns ranks among the world's greatest print makers often compared to Picasso, Rembrandt and Da Vinci. For Jasper Johns print making encourages experimentation through the ease with which it allows him to pursue new directions. Jasper Johns innovative contribution to screen prints, etching, lino cuts and lithography have revolutionized the field of prints. Incredibly, over six decades, Jasper Johns has created over 450 limited prints, plus score of unique trial proofs, monotypes, and colored proofs, etc. Time 28. Take the final prints for a take the final prints about eight or ten on paper of the positive image. In 2007, the National Gallery of Art acquired 1,700 Jasper Johns prints, comprised of lithographs, etching, relief prints, and screen prints, including unique trial proofs and progressive proofs. The National Gallery of Art now boasts boasts the largest comprehensive respir compre- comprehensive repository of Jasper Johns' extraordinary six decades. print career 
Initially, lithography suited Johns and enabled, enabled him to create print versions of iconic depiction of flags, maps, and targets that filled his paintings, such as Target 1960. In 1967, Johns expanded the, his repertoire of two etching, two etching, and created Target 1 and Light. In 1971, Johns became the first artist at ULAE to use the hand feed offset lithographic press, resulting in decoy, an image realized in printmaking before it was made in drawing or painting. Since then, Johns has become a master of both media and continues making prints with subjects as varied as the seasons. Creative reinterpretations of Halloween and with and curious faces and features combined with everyday objects. Printmakers, printmaker and artist Jesper John lives and works in St. Martin, USA. Time 30. Carefully make the board carefully make the border with gum if required after 30 minutes. And evenly apply the spirit paste wood polish with cotton on the stone. Leave this for 30 minutes and carefully remove the positive image with thinner. Now etch the stone with gun arabic, uh, gum arabic and mild nitric acid solution. Clean the stone with water thoroughly. Health and safety precautions. Health and safety precautions. 1. Handle the acid drip bottle with care. Do not remove it from the designated area. Clear a face shield for protection and wash hands after handling water. If acid comes in contact with an eye, there is an eye wash station in the acid etching room. Run the water for 30 minutes to flush the unit. Hold eye upon and wash eye for 15 minutes. Any eye injury should be examined by a physician. 3. Washing out the image must occur under the ventilation hood. 4. Wear gloves when using solvents to limit contact with skin. 5. Use volatile solvents like denatured alcohol and lecure thinner sparingly. 6. First clean up ink. First clean up ink on slabs with razor scraper, razor scraper before using solvent. 7. Scrap excess ink into residual containers. Use ink can be put back in can. Usable ink can usable ink can be put back in can. 8. Dispose of rags in red safety container. 9. To avoid injury, use the proper technique. Use the proper technique demonstrated by the teacher when moving and carrying lithography stones. Now take the final print. Write all the details of the print like date and signature.